Thank you for the opportunity to speak on this matter. I'm Flintwater, Special Agent with the Wyoming Division of Criminal Investigation. Recently, our investigators have been using systems to find individuals trafficking using peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, searching for sadistic images where the victims are especially young, and they are reported online trading these images at that moment. Let me share with you some of the material we see every day. Imagine the movie, the four-year-old girl being sodomized on a bed as her attacker for, tries to force her to comply with his wishes. And from the speakers, you can hear her screams of no, no, no. We've got movies, movie of a toddler on a changing table. Video zooms in as her diaper is removed and an unknown adult male penetrates the child. When you do this sort of work, there's certain pictures you just can't get out of your mind. For me, one is the picture of a young girl about six or seven. She's nude, she's strapped to a chair and the chair's fallen over and this child's being sexually assaulted by a dog. The tears are streaming up this little girl's face, and to my knowledge, she's not been identified. The magnitude of this problem, our lowest estimate is that there are over 350,000 individuals trading these images depicting rape and sexual abuse of, of children in the United States alone. times in our line of work when you find yourself staring into the eyes of the children in these movies and apologizing. We apologize because we can't find them. We can't rescue them. There's just not enough people or resources to help. The bad news is that while my task force and the ICAC network can tell you how to interdict tens of thousands of sexual predators tomorrow, the vast majority of these leads will never be investigated. In fact, less than 2% of these crimes we know about are investigated due to the sheer lack of resources most of these victims will not be rescued. I'm here today to testify about what many of my law enforcement colleagues are not free to come here and tell you. We are overwhelmed, we are underfunded, and we are drowning in a tidal wave of tragedy. We don't have the resources we need to save these children. The good news is we know how to find these predators. They're just a subpoena away from arrest and prosecution.